Welcome back, everybody. Still just doing a bit of tidying up around here. I noticed this is not going to work. Because we have our walkway, which is like too wide here. And then it goes into like a four wide, which is not going to work. I mean, I could, or actually it's five wide. Five wide is definitely not going to work. I could do like four wide going up. So it'll expand out. So that is doable. Because there was no, tra I tried looking, you know, thinking of transitions for this and it's just, not really transitionable. So we will just do. Oh, I'm going to need some more stairs, aren't I? If I do this, I'm going to be, what, two, four, five short? And then probably more. So it's going to go all the way up the same way. I will have to take away some of this, but that'll be fine. I'll probably put, put a potted plant here in there. I think that would help. And then through here, we have this. And I think, where's it? At? Yeah, I do have cobble. So I was thinking something like this. I mean, it makes it easy to get over the fence, but I think the road goes, the road keeps going this way, so that'll be good. And then probably just continue it on this way. Like that. And no, I've not figured out what I'm going to put here or there or anywhere through here. This looks more like it's going to be greenery. This wall. Yeah, this wall will have to come back one maybe. Unless I want to leave it here. And this would be the... Um, so this would be the wall going up like that. Yeah, maybe, maybe something like that. Yeah, like that. So we go all the way over here and then we do this. Yeah, and just sort of take the path all the way around the side like this. Okay, I think that helps us get started. So I just need to get some more of these tiles here. And then I was going to fill in this spot because that's going to be um, a farm. Let's see, around here. Oh, I think, yeah, let's, let's do this. And then maybe, yeah. Mm 
Yeah, so I'm just trying to make it colorful. That's why I just sort of pick random, not really not random, but I just pick some blocks I have. And I'm trying to vary the color on the walls and stuff, kind of like I did when I started. Because so, I don't want it to all be blah. I want it to, every, each wall is kind of unique and different, so. Let's see, if we get over here, this is going to be, let's say the entrance is going to be right here. Should be too, I think it should be too wide. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll just have to clear out all this. And then I can put in my, uh, I guess it'd be not a mud farm. It's a um, uh, clay farm. That's it. Like that. Does that look better? Yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. Gives it a little weight. And then here... Well, let's do like that. Put another one there. It doesn't hurt to have uh, lots of light. Let's see. There. Yeah, that's not bad. And then it's going to go up. Because I figure the top will probably be where those trees are. The top of the wall. So the wall is going to be a really tall wall. And then I guess on either side here. We'll just put in some lighting. You know, we'll have to do it here too. Because this is all going to be carved out. This wall's fine. I mean, this one's back far enough. I don't think I planned on having the stairs right here. I just sort of ended up there. So that means I'm going to need to dig out this all this way, all the way back up. Okay. Well, I might as well finish this while I'm here. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? Yeah, I'm going to have to keep, keep track of that on the inside, but as far as the outside goes. We may just pull this all the way up. And then this would go all the way up. Oops. There and I think this needs to go up higher too. Yeah, I have a feeling that whole, this whole wall here is going to just go straight across, way up there. Oh yeah, you can just see a touch of that. So they'll be in the roof here. if I do like that so this has like a really heavy solid tunnel of an entrance here and maybe even
there. Or at least the entrance looks fine. Yeah, so you go in and you just like, step down into the building. Oh yeah, that works. That works out. Maybe I'm safe. I logged back in. I immediately heard phantoms. Oh good, they all died. Okay, sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Got rid of them. So let's get back down here. I was working on this wall. We got all this road done. And we were going to move into here. So I guess what I need to do... How high do I want to go here? I think like that. And just got to figure out how wide this is going to be. Because we're going to go in. I want to have a collection area over here. I guess that would be right here. Yeah, I could do that because I could put dripstone there, dirt here. Actually, the dirt dripstone could be in the ground there. With the so the water be dripping here, so to be a slag tight. It's a slag tight or stagmite. Yeah. So dripstone with the. Uh, Slagmite underneath it, or slag tight. What is tight? Tight. I think tight is the one that holds to the top, and mite is the one that tries to grow up from the bottom. I think. Don't uh, quote me on that. Don't bother correcting me, because. It's... I also want to run. In the middle here. So if we go in the middle. So I would need to have three in the middle. And I only have two. So let's see. One, two. I could probably get away with the middle being. So this would be. So the floor would be here, yeah, because we're going to go down. The floor would be here. And then at this level, on top of the floor is the dirt we're going to convert into mud. So this is going to be my clay making, I think I mentioned that, clay making area. That's the two. Yeah, so we would set like the dirt on top of this because I, I, I don't need water, but I want water source really close. So my idea for the water source was I going to put in stairs like this and then water log them so they don't run out all over the place. So that's that's how the water source is going to go. So I'll need stairs here and I've got to use the two wide because I need to balance it out. And then I need to clear out this. I need a walkway. And I want a two walkway through here. Like this. So that would be the two walkway. This is all going to be wall. So we'll have, let's just mark it with these slabs. So when you come in here, that is going to be the water. That's going to be the mud. There. Actually, I could. So I would have it like this. Let's put um, have a torches. I'm going to put a couple torches like here for now. So that would be the first area, and then over here. We would have a harvest area over here. So this would be where the mud goes. And this would be where the water goes. Oops, sorry. I'm not even following my own guidelines here. So the water would be here and the mud would be here. That way it's easy to grab and go down. I'm not using any dispensers or any of that kind of jazz. 
This is all manual. that. So we have two there, and I want two more here, so this would be where the mud is. So the mud would go here, and the water would go here. Perfect! I'm saying perfect because I finally got my layout. And that should give me more than enough clay to do whatever I need. Like that. So all I need to do is clear this out. And then we can get started actually putting things in. Make sure I got inventory space. Might as well just clear this whole thing out. I'll leave these here just... So you remember. Well, I cleared out everything and I ended up running into this wall here, which I'm not quite sure what it belongs to. Because it's on this same level. So this is too high. So I bet it's... I don't know, is it part of this uh, apartment complex? I can't remember. Maybe it's this... Uh, oh, no, it's not that. Okay, maybe it's this room over here. Uh, nope, not that bathroom. Bedroom? No. Huh. Maybe, maybe it's this. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, because this wall goes way up there. Oh, get away, yeah. Yeah, this wall goes way up there. So yeah, so I'm running into that wall there. So that's as far as we can go. We're not gonna go any deeper. And I don't even think I'm gonna go any wider. I think this would be fine. This is going to give me what? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 29 or so blocks. So almost 30 blocks ago. So now those are 30 whole clay blocks, which make a lot of tiny little clay balls, which make a lot of bricks. So that should, that should be okay. So then we just need to get... Uh, get started on filling this in but you'll have to wait till the next episode for that one because i am done for today thank you very much for watching i hope you uh, enjoy and hope you come back and catch the uh, next episode have a great day everybody bye bye